Hello and welcome back to Ohio Ridgelands. So the grass still hasn't gotten to the second stage yet, so we're just going to have to wait that one out. Uh, quickly check the store. No, nothing we could use there yet. We did actually enable the sugar, our sugar mill. So now we've got five and a half thousand liters of sugar waiting there. The plan was we've still got 275,000 liters of sugar and it is at the moment it's only the dairy that's using the sugar and it really isn't getting through it very quickly the price for sugar is quite good uh, towards the end of the i uh, know it's not september sorry five just over 500 dollars a pallet so it could make us a bit of money when we really need it because that is around the time that the canola field will be harvested by that farmer so that's the aim to bring in just a little bit extra uh, we are going to sell these 20 cows for some reason they aren't reproducing I did check the size of the barn it is an 80 cow barn so we've still got room for another 40 but for some reason they're just not um, not reproducing so we're gonna have to sell that 20 we have sheep we have more we have another 25 sheep right so we can sell this 25 then because they're at $650 each that should bring in a good bit of money uh, we did get chickens two months ago and we got them, must have gotten them yesterday. So even more chickens. So we could afford to sell these, uh, was that 840? We sell the 840 chickens. That would save us on a bit of grain because they're that's going to use it quite quickly. Uh, these guys, I think we'll just leave them because they've not got enough value yet. Yeah, we'll leave them. All they need is maybe a grass bale and we could top up their water later on. So let's sell some of the animals first. There definitely isn't going to be contracts. Yep, that's what I thought. Right, let's go and sell some of these. Uh, it's not that one, it's this one here. We've got 162000 in the bank, but um, I was trying to save it. Just in case something came up in the sale that we were in desperate need of but we still have that loan to pay off so I think that's going to be priority right let's get these sold so that 10 six and a half thousand minus the 500 transport fee I wonder if it's worth buying the trailer for them all right so there's six thousand uh, dollars another six that's twelve thousand and these one I think there's only five yep So 3,000 for that. So $15,000 for the sheep. Uh, chickens, this chickens is going to take a minute. There we go. So it's these guys here. So $1,200. I'm just going to try and do this quickly because it is all of the ones valued at Twenty-five dollars. I wish you could sell them in bigger batches than sixty. It would be much easier. Should be coming close. There we go. All right. So I have no idea how much that was, but they're they're sold. And by the time we sell these cows, we're going to be well over two hundred thousand dollars. So fifteen hundred dollars for these twenty. Yeah, how much is that each? Hundred dollars fee. I wonder because if we're looking at the bigger cow barn, I wonder if it's worthwhile us getting the trailer for them. I'm pretty sure it goes on the truck, so it would make the it would work the Mac just a little bit more than just run about with water and milk. Because we'll be selling essentially selling 20 of these every month and if that's two grand every month it's 24 grand a year just from one cow barn we'll still have this run in this cow barn as well right we'll sell that so that's twenty eight thousand dollars two hundred and twenty two thousand dollars in the bank now that is perfect 
Uh, let's have a quick look actually. Let's see what that trailer costs. Because if we can get it to around 40 48,000, that's two years worth of transporting. I'd imagine it's going to be this one here as a cattle. Oh, they only take 12 at a time. And it would take four years to claim that money back as well. They only take six at a time. It's a lot less though, but that's more running about. That's three trips. What are they for? Chickens. I didn't know you could transport chickens. That must be fairly new then. That one is five cows at a time, but then this one does sheep as well, doesn't it? Yeah, so 38 sheep at a time. Hmm, that could be worthwhile doing. This one we could get, oh, that doesn't take much at all, does it? No, and this one was only, well, 10 sheep, but five cows. It's going to have to be this one. But it's $80,000. That would take us four years to claim the money back for that. So I uh, don't think that's the best uh, option just now. How much slurry have we got? 94,000. Oh, we need to check the overall, don't we? A slurry, where are we? There. So we've got 119,000 litres in between the tank and the uh, cow barn. 51,000 litres of manure as well. What well, I don't think there is anything to do. I moved the wool down this morning. Um, I know there is a pallet down there of, I think there's fabric. There must be fabric by now, surely. Oh yeah. And um, there are one, possibly two pallets at this one. Or this is the second one, so there prob probably is one there already. Clothes, we're going to have a clothes pallet. Plus what's in here, so if it's $10,000 a pallet. So we're going to have $60,000 from that. Oh, there's still wool there, I forgot about that. Right, we're going to have to do something with that. Uh, yeah, sell prices for... Where are we? Eggs, what's the eggs at? 1,300, so not the best, but I think we could get rid of them if there is. Soybeans is June, so we're going to hold on to them for a bit longer. Can't sell any sorghum, just in case the chickens need it. Mind you, we've just sold a heap, so we should be okay until the barley field is ready. Oh, I'm just debating. Chickens, they can take wheat though, can't they? Yeah, wheat, barley, sorghum. So we have barley, as, uh, wheat, sorry, if we need it. So we've still got 32,000 litres of wheat. So there shouldn't be an issue with the feed for chickens. I'm just trying to work out what we need, because if we get this cow barn, we're going to need a lot of TMR. We've got plenty of silage. In fact, I'm saying that we have quite a lot of hay as well. Straw, we've got plenty, although we will need it for bedding. I think we're doing not too bad. It's grass we need for the sheep, especially if they're going to reproduce just as quick. I'm just kind of waiting for that field to get ready, but it does it just seems to be taking its time. We've still got plenty of grass bales just now, but if the sheep do reproduce any more, or at least quickly, uh, we're, we're going to have to cut the field as it is. I know it says ready to harvest, but there is a second stage on there and it's not arrived yet. Right, let me nip down with a telehandler because I know there's only one I think there's only one pallet to close. Right, we'll nip down there, move the fabric pallets, and get any closed pallets as well. So, we'll see you down there in just a second. I'm pretty sure there's a manure grab in there somewhere. We'll maybe just get that out now, <laughs> before it completely disappears into the, uh, into the pile. I never thought on that. We've never really used the manure for quite a while now. This could be a bit fun. Ah, there it is. There we go. 
that I would do that since I was passing anyway. Saves it getting lost in there and us forgetting where we've actually put it. Right, let's go and get this other stuff sorted out now. Well, we've moved some stuff about and uh, we've taken all the sugar pallets back up here and the chocolate. The only thing left is we need to get uh, the bread from the bakery and get it sold. I'm not sure how much, oh, uh, the front weight's still on the front of this thing just now. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure the price of it and how much we've actually got. Oh no. Yeah, I thought I'd use this just because I put the trailer away and it was going to be a bit easier, but obviously not. Uh, yes, we've also paid, uh, if you've checked our money, we've just paid $100,000 towards the loan. So we now only have uh, $780,000 left. So we are slowly chipping away at it. I could have put a bit more in, I didn't want to, just in case there's something in the sale or something happens and we need the money. But putting that 100,000 in will definitely reduce the interest, that's for sure. Right, we'll leave this here. We'll double check the animals. So we do need grain for the chickens. They should be okay, we fed them not long ago and we sold 20, so they're not going to go through much. Uh, they are full. These should be full now. Uh, I could probably put another bale round actually. We'll need to give them some water. We'll top that up and give them wheat, barley and sorghum. We should have a bit of sorghum left. 
11,000 litres. When is the barley ready? That's uh, June, I don't know, so still the best part of four months yet. Uh, that's, um, that's really not ideal. Anyway, let's get the chickens fed. Well, I've still got the forks, so I'm going to go and take another bale of grass down to that big uh, sheep enclosure. Get that done first, and then we'll swap onto the bucket, feed the chicken sorghum, and take the tanker, grab some water, and maybe get one of these higher up bales. And we'll grab some water in the tanker, fill it up, and give it to the other sheep pen, keep them going. I think that will be it for today. We'll just jump into tomorrow. I don't think there is anything else to do really. We're still waiting on this grass which seems to be really taking its time so yeah right we'll do that we'll do a quick time lapse of that and then we'll jump straight into tomorrow so we'll see you first thing in the morning. It's not been the best of weather today. It's been snowing since about midday and it's now 10 to 6 in the afternoon. So yeah, um, it's not actually laid on the ground yet, but I presume it will do soon. Uh, looking at the forecast, it's meant to keep going until about 9 o'clock tonight. So it's, uh, it was a very frosty morning, that's for sure. And it's not really held off at all today. But we started the cake production again only because we've still got sugar, milk, strawberries and eggs in there and we need to get rid of them. So we're doing that until they, they're down to pretty much zero or we've run out. Uh, just now we're taking the bread, we've got three pallets of bread and one of cake. And this is a decent sell price just now, the cake's at a really good price actually so it's kind of worked in well, we've managed to just get one but I'm only wanting to sell the pallets at the back. Obviously we've got another 8,000 liters of sugar and 2,000 liters of chocolate. It'd be not a bad payday if I sold everything, but obviously we're holding off the sugar until it's at a really good sell price. There's only $100 between minimum and maximum, but it still makes the difference when you've got, you know, 20, 30,000 liters worth. But that's $5,947. We'll take these back to our farm, but I did see something. In fact, I'll just jump in here. It's quite annoying. We literally paid in $100,000 yesterday in towards the loan. And this came up in the sale. 9RX. That would be a massive improvement for our farm. We could obviously have it, it'll be the standard 517 horse engine. And then in time, we could improve it to 670 horse if we needed to. Because just now the tractor, we've got the big, uh, well it's the 9R, but it's the wheeled version of the 9R. It only goes up to 517 horse. So we're missing out on that big jump of horsepower. But it's just new and updated, it's the newer version. Uh, the one we've got is this one here, the 9470R. I think it's the older model or the one, the one before the, the tracked version came out, this tracked version anyway. So quite annoying there, we could have almost afforded it. If we sold the sugar, I think we would afford it, no problem. Very annoying that that's happened like that, but at the same time, that's almost a quarter of a million dollars. That's half of the new cow barn. And it's also three just under three quarters of the loan that we've still got outstanding, if we didn't pay it off. Uh, if we didn't pay that 100000 yesterday. 
but uh, I'm sure it'll come up again in the sale. We might even get a better, I don't think there's a better one than that. I think 9RX is the best you get, or the biggest anyway, without going into Big Bud, but obviously that's just a little bit silly for this map, I think. But the 9470R has done us very well since day one. It's 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 basically pulled the farm along doing all the cultivating, well, tillage work, ploughing work and all that. But there's nothing else to do. There's definitely not going to be any contracts, especially not this time of night with the weather. Uh, but the animals are up to date. There's nothing that needs to be done apart from we'll put this into the shed and kind of stockpile that until the price becomes really good. Surprised the snow's not lying yet, but then that's kind of going to mess up this plans because tomorrow is the 1st of March. So this should be at the next stage of growth, but with the weather, I don't think that's going to happen. But then we sold the sheep, we've still got plenty of bales left, so I don't think there's a big rush for that grass now. Uh, like we thought there would be, oh, there's plenty of bales. We're never going to get through all that. Well, it is now March 1st. Uh, unfortunately, the grass isn't still, uh, went up to the second stage yet, which is quite frustrating. But on the other hand, we have contracts. We have a massive one, $30,000. So we're gonna send a worker out to fertilize field 10 there and he's gonna jump over and do field 19 as well because it's up that side of the map. We'll do some of these later on. Uh, I think we're gonna do two and 20, uh, six and 28 and two because they're all kind of next to each other. Uh, and we're gonna do field 25. So we'll get that sprayed with herbicide. So we're now getting that sprayer to work. It's $18,000. Field 25 is that big one behind our farm there with that grain silos, the grain bins. So let's get this, uh, we'll need to use that for herbicide because I don't think there's going to be, unless there is something in it. 25, yes there is, there's oats. It's still at a very early growth stage so we should be okay with the big tires on the 7R. But we'll get this hooked up to the fertilizer spreader because it's got narrow tires so it's better for it. Leave the front weight and the uh, front loader on as well. Right, we'll go and get this all hooked up. We'll send this, uh, I think the guy's on his way just now. So at least we'll get this hooked up ready. I don't know if we actually need fertilizer or not. If we do, I'll need to run down to the store and grab some. Oh no. <laughs> right, I'm going to down to the store with this first, get a fertilizer, then come back up and hook up the 7R to the sprayer. In fact, before we run down there, let's have a check on herbicide because I know we'll need. So there's 1,200 litres in there. 300 litres. So we could get another pallet of herbicide. And because it's the season for fertilizing and we will need to do our big field at the back of the cow barn there, I think we're gonna buy quite a few bags. So let's get this done for this morning and see how much we can get by the end of today. Well, I've set a worker off on the fertilizing contract and the spraying contract. And we did make a purchase. We bought 12 bags of fertilizer at the store and paid $21,840 for that. And also 6,000 liters of herbicide, which was $4,000. And as you've just seen there, we thought it would be ideal if we had enough workers on like just now. We won't have the tractors to go around with the trailer filling up everything because they're all being used. So we spent $28,500 on that new trailer which will be handy for just now, moving about this stuff and you know filling up the tractors and that. But it also means we can load it up with stuff that we're taking, if we're taking heaps of sugar or if we're moving stuff between the uh, factories, especially when the flowers go and 
um, all the time that generates quite a lot of flour so it is handy for moving that about as well so it has two uses and at least it gets the Mack truck going doing something else instead of sitting all year and just doing the water a couple of times it seems to be a bit of a waste of money sitting there so hopefully $28,500 spent but that will be it for this episode I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again in the next one very soon thanks for watching